Hello, in this video we show you how to change the lock screen security options on the LG G2. So, here we have a G2 and if we press the power button we can turn the screen on and all I need to do is swipe across the screen and I'm in. Now of course that's not a very secure option and anybody can just access your content so it's best to put some security on the device and there's a variety of ways in which you can do this uh, of which entail different levels of security so it's better to have anything than uh, a swipe just to try and prevent people accessing it so to change it you need to go into your settings either through the apps or through the notification bar at the top so find your settings option and within settings you need to go to the display tab at the top and there'll be an option for lock screen if you tap lock, lock screen and at the top here you'll see the option for screen security and you can see at the moment we've got swipe selected so if I tap on this I then get various different security options so none, no lock screen at all That's pretty much like a swipe you're not even having to swipe in that instance so we've got face unlock which uses facial recognition so if I was to select this it tells me about uh, face unlock and it tells you that it's less secure than a pin or password um, and someone who's similar to you could unlock it but let's go for setting it up um, I've got to do this sort of out of shot and I'm going to try and sort of take a picture of myself here so you can see the camera's trying to go around my face and pick up my facial definition so it's face captured, I click continue and then um, it wants a backup security option so I'm going to go with a pin here I enter the pin so simply for testing I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I have to confirm it again, I click OK so I've now finished so if I turn the device off, to get back into the device I now need to line my face up in this panel so it didn't recognise me in time so it's given me the option to enter the pin. If I turn the screen off and try again and then I come back up into this panel and it's recognised my face and I'm in. Now let's say I don't want to use that, I want a pattern instead, I click on pattern and because I've already unlocked the device I can make a change here so it's showing me exactly what I need to do so I click next and I draw my pattern if I want to retry I click retry if I'm happy I click OK or continue and I draw it once more to confirm confirm and that's then done you then need to enter a backup pin so I'm going to do that now enter one two three four can click cancel, I can edit the pin or if I'm happy I can click continue. I'm going to do that once more. Okay, now that's the pattern effect set. So if I turn the screen off and then I have the pattern here in the water droplets and it's unlocked. So back into screen security. Now because I've set a pattern which is a higher level of security I need to enter that again to be able to make changes so there it is entered, it's matched I can then enter a pin so I can then set the pin to whatever I want it to be so let's set it as 1, 2, 3, 4 again confirm it and that pin will now have overridden the uh, pattern that I'd set so I turn the screen off turn it on, I now have to enter the pin in the box so type that in click OK and I'm now into the device but let's say I want a different security option, I want a password. So I click in to make the change, but it's asking me to confirm my current PIN. And then I can go to password. And this is one of the most secure options because it's a mix of numbers and letters preferably. So I'm just going to go test, one, two, three, four, OK. I then have to confirm it again, so I need to enter it exactly the same click OK and that's the password set so I turn the screen off now when I turn it on I've got to enter the password now it can potentially take more time but it stops people being able to access your device quite so quickly and then I'm in and if I really want I can then go back in again change the options by entering my password 
and choosing the security option that I now have on the device. And that's how you change some of the security settings for your lock screen on the LG G2.